Nick. My name is Dr. Surajuddin. Um, distinguished colleagues, I have not seen the, the compendium, but let me say this, and this is not rigging this debate. Even without a compendium, I think this is a well-deserved piece. <laughs> so continue. Mr. Thank you, uh, President, Your Excellency, our distinguished colleague. My name is Dr. Surajuddin Ajibola Bashiru. I represent Oslo Central Senatorial District. I think uh, I'm honored to be privileged to be allowed to second this uh, important uh, second reading of the bill. And I think it also speaks to the legislative agenda of the Ninth Senate. And one of the points that uh, was uh, raised and that we adopted was that we must act in a way to reform our electoral system. The basis of democratic governance is election. And for there to be proper democracy, the election must not only be free, it must be seen to be free, fair, and credible. In an atmosphere that electoral victory is secured in the circumstance of violence, circumstance of inducement, circumstance of manipulation. It could not have been said that the people have been able to elect democratically their representative. And closely allied to the sanity and credibility of election is ensuring a crime-free electoral process. I've also had the privilege of reading the report of the Justice Owais report on electoral reform. It's a report that I believe most of us have read, and it's important that beyond the recommendation of the reform of the criminal adjudicatory process for election, there are also some other select provisions that I believe some other senators will also bring. And I had the occasion to deliver a paper on democracy and rule of law uh, for the NUJ Quara uh, last uh, Thursday. One of the issues that arose was also issue of sanity of electoral process. And I threw a challenge that after, before or on the day of every election, we have instances that people were apprehended, they will be paraded on national television. Immediately after the announcement of results, it will be as if nothing has happened. And what has happened, if you don't have a sanitized electoral process, is that there will be apathy. And when there is apathy, people could not have been said to have been properly represented. But be that as it may, I think the bill is talking about setting up a prosecutorial agency to prosecute offense. In order to have a proper bite, I think it would be necessary to adopt a fast-track procedure for criminal adjudication under that commission, so that maybe they will be given special preferences to be able to timely, just like the tribunal, prosecute and come to conclusion. It will not all go well when electoral offenders were apprehended, they were being prosecuted by the commission, and they are still in the process of prosecuting an offense under one election, and four years, prosecution is going on. So I would suggest that, possibly at the committee level, yeah, it will be important to, okay. to, 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 to get possibly a rules and regulation that will ensure expeditious consideration and speedy trial of an electoral offender. I strongly second the, that the a bill be given second reading. I thank you, Mr. President.